What up home slices, what up home fries, and what up homes of other varieties. So in today's video, I was going to react to uh, exploring with Angelo. However, the video I picked wasn't really an investigation like I thought it was initially. So I will be playing some clips, but without sound because it's not really necessary. And we're going to be talking about Eastern State Penitentiary. I've been there in person, and if you're one of the OG followers of my channel, you know that, I don't know if it was like two years or so ago, I went and recorded and did a live there. However, there was quite a lot of technical difficulties because the internet was hard to get due to the fact that the walls are cement and it blocked a lot of the Wi-Fi and just signals and stuff so the live was very buffery and stuff but now that I have grown significantly since then I wanted to see if I would pick up anything else that I probably missed when I went in person so that's one reason and I wanted to see what Angelo had picked up. There's not many videos about Eastern State Penitentiary in terms of like investigations. I don't know if they're open to the public to do that. They might be. I didn't honestly look and investigate thoroughly. So I don't know. I do know they do a lot of Halloween things and you can do tours even when it's not Halloween time, which is what we did. We did a tour and yeah it was bananas and even though i wasn't as i don't know skilled back then i still managed to pick up a lot of clairsentient information but as you'll see like as i watched the video i started having way more problems than i did when i went in person but yeah we're gonna get into that and so let's talk about it. So, okay. A lot of the psychic impressions that I had gotten when I was there in person, which didn't make sense to me at the time, but I kept feeling like the ailments of women and or pregnant women, which I thought was weird because I didn't know or didn't think that they had women also in the prisons. I thought, this was just one for men and then like they kept a female one separate but turns out there were female inmates and the tour stuff did validate the fact that there were some pregnant women and that's what I felt a lot of pregnant women a lot of health issues due to pregnancy and strangely, when I was watching, I was having a good stomach day. And what I mean by that is pain was probably at the low end of the spectrum. But the second I started watching this video, it jumped to like, I don't know, if we had a, t a pain scale, it was about a 9 out of 10. And I had to quit watching about 12 minutes in. I tried to watch as much as I possibly could, which makes me sad because, I don't know, I like these kinds of videos and I hate when my clairsentience gets in the way. Now obviously, I'm working to manage it and I'm working to set up better boundaries, but it's hard. It is very hard. I'm not perfect. And I will always say that in many of my videos, I'm not perfect because people look up to me like I'm some kind of like, I don't know, guru and I'm not that. I'm just learning like everybody else. I can only give you my perspective and my um, experiences. That's all I can really give. But um, yeah, I started feeling stomach issues times a lot and it was really bad to the point where I thought my um, gastrointestinal infection that I had on my honeymoon came back and I was like oh no this isn't good 
but I digress. And of course, as I'm filming this video, I woke up pretty fairly decent. But as I'm filming this video, it's coming back and now I'm feeling stabbing pains like I'm being shanked with who knows what. So yeah, I'm going to try to speed up this video a little bit. So if this video is on the shorter end, I am sorry. It's just painful to talk about and record on the physical end. So bear with me here. I'm looking at my notes, of course. So, um, the residual energy here is super crazy. Holy macaroni. But if you think about it, this place could house 400 and change, like 450. And sometimes I feel like this place got overfilled. And so if you think about it, you have a lot of negative energy. You have a crap ton of people with their own problems, whether it's attachments, violence, you name it. And they're there for years. All of that energy is going to sit in that place and not really go anywhere. And because of this, not only can you attract spirits of any kind, but thought forms are created and there are thought forms. I only saw one astral spider. I don't know what it is with freaking astral spiders. They like the prison -y environments. But if you think about it, what kind of habitats do spiders like? They like cool, dark places. And well, what is this prison? It's a big version of that. But I saw that. There were some little like parasitic things around feeding off of some of the inmates. Um, not spiders though. I don't know what to call them because they almost look like fleas. Some of them anyway. They look like big fleas that just latch on either to the back or a part of the body and they just leech that negative energy or just energy in general. So that's something to take into account. Of course there's earthies. This place is so dense. It's so thick. I remember that going there in person. It was so thick. It was hard to breathe. I remember seeing like shadowy things in my third eye and just watching the video I started seeing a lot of earthy stuff, a lot of males, a lot of males who thought that the world was against them or just like triggered by the thought that they were, um, what do you call it, betrayed because there were some people in there because people snitched on them and there was a lot of like unfulfilled emotions and stuff of the such. And so when people cling to 3D things such as that, such as vengeance, such as hatred, such as material things, a lot of the time they don't want to let those things go. And that's part of how earthies become earthies. And there's a lot of that there. And honestly, there's quite a few earthies there. Again, mostly male. I wouldn't be surprised. I wasn't seeing um, a lot of female Earthies, but I can't, I feel like I did though when I was there in person. I feel like there was one or two there. But this place is literally like a paranormal entity zoo. What is that? A That's a cat? It was a cat. <laughs> oh my god. Mummified cat. Here's the thing though. If this place isn't open to paranormal investigations, they should because they can make a lot of money. I'm not saying that they aren't. I just don't know because I didn't do the research. But listen, researchers would have a freaking field day here, especially at nighttime because during the day you have a lot of tourists and because there's a lot of tourists you have some guardian entities there that help like deflect and block things from like doing anything negative to people but during the nighttime when tourists aren't there they're kind of like not there as much or present I don't think they're really there as much because there aren't really tourists there but time isn't linear so I'm sure 
there's stuff going on there in that regard, but they are more active at night there, for sure. And so, like I was saying, paranormal investigators, they would get a crap ton of evidence hands down, don't even question it, just based off of the things I saw there, yes, yes. Um, even though there are some guardian spirits there during the day, it's very important if you are energy sensitive or have any kind of like extra sensory perception abilities or skills, what have you, before leaving the place and getting back to your home. Cleanse yourself. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think I did, I'm pretty sure I did that when I left. Yeah, cause I had brought the Palo Santo, yeah, okay, I did. I brought the Palo Santo sticks for me, my friend, and my husband to cleanse yourself. But if you're energy sensitive or have the type of energy that spirits and entities like, you are more than likely going to have a hitchhiker come back home with you. So it's always important to cleanse yourself before you get back home, especially from places like this. And it's not even just prisons, but asylums, um, hospitals, like abandoned hospitals, haunted, haunted locations in general. You should just do that in period. But this place will definitely bring home something, whether it's just like a parasitic entity or an earthy, you just got to be careful. So anyone who does go there, whether it's investigations or for fun, for like a tour, bring Palo Santo with you so you can do your cleanse yourself before you hop into your car. Another thing that I did see was like this shadowy thing. It kind of like moves along the walls, along the floor. It kind of just like, I don't know if it has like a form form, like a specific form it likes to, I don't know, stay at. Well, I don't think it has like a true form. I think it's very just shadowy and just goes along the walls and the floors to travel and stuff. It almost moves like a snake. Um, but that is also there. I feel like I know I'm supposed to be doing more investigations, especially with LAMP and then like on my personal channel. But when it comes to places like this and being clairsentient, I find it rather difficult to withstand that type of energy. And when we were supposed to go to Bobby Mackey's on LAMP, Chastity did go, which is awesome, but I couldn't, but I'm glad I didn't because I feel like even though in that case I could watch the video and be okay, I feel like being there in person would affect me more. And the fact that this video affected me a lot, I don't think I could be there in person for very long. Now, I mean, back then I was okay with some issues, but now it's unbearable. And like I said, it has to do with a lot of that negative energy confined into one location. Now, if you think about it too, I did say earlier that this place is a magnet for other negative things. Law of attraction, like attracts like, okay? And so you have all this energy in one space and it kind of sets the vibration to the space or area around it. Well, if you think about it, Philly, where this is located, there's a lot of crime. I mean, you can just say that or chalk it up because it's a city, but there is a lot of crime stuff that goes on around it. And that doesn't surprise me. Another great example of this is the Cecil Hotel. That place and the area around it is very sketchy and dangerous. I don't know if it's better now, but at its like high point, that stuff was very, very sketchy and brought in a lot of bad people. And this place here at Eastern State Penn is not much different. Plus you have to consider the fact that Pennsylvania is 
one of the first states where settlers kind of like settled. And so there's a lot of history here. And this town or city is already haunted and then you add that there, it just kind of intensifies it. So, so yeah, there's a lot going on here. So yeah, places like this, I don't think I would do well in person. And while going here was interesting at the time because they do have a lot of cool historic things inside there. Like they have the art exhibits, they have some of the rooms, like Al Capone's cell, they have it all nice and stuff. And then some of like the older cells that weren't like special or used for any special reason, they're all dilapidated and a lot of the toilets are buried and are dusty and there's debris everywhere. So, I mean, if you go there out of like, there for a tour, for fun, I feel like you're gonna get a lot of out of it and you'll probably have fun, but energetically, if you're sensitive like I am, don't stay there too long. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's all I'm really gonna say here. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. This is the last video until we get into October, okay? And from here on out, because I did a batch film for all of September, I did in like three days. It is now August 29th and I am gonna go ham on these October videos because they take a lot of time and I need to get a head start. But anyways, guys, I hope you're doing well and I will see you all soon. Peace out.